Hello and welcome to Royal Vibes, notorious for holding grudge. Meghan Markle feud with United States A-lister in wedding dress role. Meghan Markle may hold a grudge against American superstar Katy Perry over a remark the singer made about the Dodgers of Sussex's wedding dress. It has been sensationally claimed. So before we get right into it, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure to subscribe, turn the post bell notification so you always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Don't also forget to like the video and watch it up to the very end. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped away from royal duties in 2020 and are now forging a new life together in the US with their son Archie 3 and daughter Lilibet 1. The couple now resides in the desirable Californian town of Montecito, Santa Barbara, located on the state's central coast. The small neighborhood is home to an array of celebrities, including actor Orlando Bloom and his former wife Katy Perry. Prince Harry, 37 years old, is thought to be settling into his American surroundings well, but it is claimed Meghan, 41, is upset with her neighbor Katy Perry over a comment made about a duchess's wedding um, dress back in 2018. A source said, Orlando is very sympathetic towards Harry and Meghan and does reach out if he ever sees anything suspicious in the neighborhood. They added, However, Meghan is keenly aware of a comment that Katy Perry made back in 2018 about her wedding dress and is notorious for holding a grudge. Perry had previously joked she would have done you know, one more fitting when asked about a wedding during an appearance on Entertainment Tonight to promote American Idol in May of 2018. Meghan is said to have felt slighted by the remark as it came during a time of immense pressure for the Sussex couple in the build-up of their bombshell exit from the firm, a, a move Duke Mexit. The LSO said, while the comment wasn't meant to be hurtful, Megan felt under siege as that time, at that time and was overwhelmed by arguments with staff, the Duchess of Cambridge and Thomas Markle. The Duchess of Sussex and Perry are both mothers to one-year-old girls, but the insider was quick to dismiss any notion of forthcoming play dates for the young children. They said, I would not expect to see Meghan and Katie carpooling the PTA meetings anytime in the future. The Duke of Sussex was reported to have struck up a friendship with the father of the Paris girl, Hollywood actor Orlando Bloom. But the early insider was quick to downplay the claims, insisting the men were not close as previously reported. They told the Daily Star, Why Harry is sincerely grateful to anyone that is proactive in protecting his family, the Duke of Sussex and Orlando fit more into the acquaintance category than friends. It comes after Bloom voice Prince Harry in the controversial HBO cartoon series The Prince which lampooned the firm and in particular Prince George. The Duke of Sussex was said to be aware that Bloom was taking the path um, with the show's creator Gary Giannati telling Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen at the time. He said, I don't know if Harry has said anything to Orlando about it, but I know about the show premiere. He, ha he was aware that Orlando was doing it and he seemed to have a sense of humor about it. The Sacrical series attracted black backlash for taking name at Prince George with some branding the mockery cruel. And although the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were not spared, Bloom told the Hollywood reporter the show was not malicious or intended to be. Prince Harry is now thought to be putting the finishing touches to his new memoir, whose publisher Penguin Random House insists will be an accurate and wholly truthful portrayal of the Duke's royal family experience. The book thought to be ready for a Christmas release date threatens to tear open all rift within the film as the Duke opens up on his personal struggles. Meanwhile, the Duke and, Duke and the Duchess of Sussex's charitable organization Archwell was recently awarded a gong for its work advocating for Afghan refugees. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are to be given the Partner Organization Award next week in New York. Executive Director James Hall of the Archwell Foundation will be receiving the award on their behalf. He said, It's an honor to be recognized by Human First Coalition, whose steadfast work in Afghanistan have played a critical role in delivering much needed aid and resulted in the successful evacuation and resettlement of thousands globally. We share a commitment of supporting families and veterans and are grateful for their partnership. 
So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.